I've been wanting to do a blog that I know is going to make probably everybody angry with me, but I'm going to do it anyway because I think that it could be very helpful. Maybe you'll be mad and then maybe a couple weeks later you will start to sort of see what I'm talking about. So the blog title is, what is the biggest mistake that every parent makes? Is it leaving the kid in the car seat without buckling them in? Is it feeding them too much junk food? No. So what I'm really wanting to talk about today is the full cycle of parenting. I thought about doing this blog because I've seen it over and over and it does get a little infuriating because it just seems like the answer is right there. At first I thought that it was pride that was holding everyone back and then I realized it's actually something much deeper. So what is it? It's apologizing. So parents are taught that they're there on planet Earth to teach their children and that they are the protector and guider. A lot of that is true, of course, but there's another part, it's the other half of the story. Your children are also there to teach you a lesson. There will be moments where you realize something that you probably didn't even know was wrong and then through your children and raising them you have now realized was not the best this is okay you're not there to be perfect you're not there to shield them from everything in the world including realizing that you are human you are human and coming clean about your mistakes will help your children to become more okay with their failures not always being perfect because you learn more from when you fail than when you succeed. If you try to portray this infallible image to your children, which most parents try to do, then what you're doing is you're saying that failure is not okay. That means that your children will try to continue that cycle. When you have a rigid idea that you're clinging on to, it's harder to move past it. Maybe you're holding on to something like maybe you spanked your child. You realize later that there was anger behind it and it wasn't just for their own good. You had some anger problems and you didn't know it. And now you probably won't even admit what happened. You're not getting away with anything. Your child knows what happened too and they want to talk about it desperately. They're not going to blame you more for it if you talk about it. It will actually be that you can both move on from it when it's not talked about, when it's not resolved, then it's just going to hang over both of you and your child forever until somebody will admit something, until somebody will come clean about how they feel. And creating that barrier with your children, it's somewhat useful when they're younger because it gives them a protection, a shield, but then as they get older, they don't need that shield. They're now ready to handle whatever honest truth you have to bring forward. All it's going to do is make that relationship closer. As we're moving forward with time, generations are more willing to be honest with their children. Parents are more honest about their past. They're probably more likely to tell their kids stories about who they dated or whatever. Things that generations ago, parents never talked to their kids. I was asking my dad about things about his mother and his father because I never met them. He said his mom was a good cook and his dad was quiet. It's profound how much prior generations did not talk about their feelings. It was not okay to do that. It was not okay to talk about the past. It was not okay to tell stories unless they were not too serious. But to really talk about your true feelings? No. Nobody would do that. Now we're more open about our feelings, but it seems like the one thing that is still clinging on is to see our own failure and to admit it to our children. If you embrace the idea that your children are there to teach you something, it's fascinating. That means that they are there for a reason. They're not an extension of you. They are a soulmate. They're on the journey with you to teach you something and you're there to teach them something. Don't hide from that. Don't hide from everything that you can learn and embrace. Let go of the past. Let go of seeing them as a little five-year-old and see them as what they are because holding on to this image of what they used to be is not healthy for anyone. They need to move forward in their life. I've seen parents who will admit something and then the child brings it up again and the parents will pretend like it never happened. Your children know you. They see through you. So there's a Mark Twain quote that a friend told me, and it goes, the two most important days of your life are the day you're born and the day that you figure out why. Every parent could relate to that quote, a sense of meaning and purpose. But when that purpose switches and transfers from being protector into learning from this person that used to just be in diapers, that's the whole circle. 
if you really give your child respect, you go from seeing them as completely needing you in every regard. They can't do anything for themselves. And in the final stages of it, um, not only are you seeing children taking care of parents as they're ill, but you're also seeing children teaching the parents something about life. And that's part of the purpose. That's part of the reason why that child is in your life. Don't put walls up. That will impede more things for you to gain from parenthood that are there still for you to grab a hold of. There are more gifts that life is ready to give you if you are open to that. Why do people want to not admit any failure in parenting? If you ask any parent, what's the most important thing? And they'll say, you know, my child. What are you most proud of? And they'll say, um, having a family. A lot of people feel that if they were to admit that there were failures, that that is saying that they're a bad parent. And it's not true. Somebody told me something that I will always remember and she said, every parent is a good parent because they do the best that they can. And that's really hard to hear. You wanna see that person who takes advantage of an innocent child, their own flesh and blood, and you wanna say that that is a villain, that that person is evil. And yes, that is all true. But I think this quote is also true that they did the best that they could. When you're admitting that you made a mistake, what you're actually saying is that you have realized something and you didn't necessarily know what was wrong or else you wouldn't have done it. You're admitting to your child, not that you're a failure, but you're actually telling them, I have learned and I have progressed. That will pull the relationship into the present day so that you will not be living in the past. You will not both be seeing each other as the shadows of somebody from decades ago that you once were, but you will be able to be in the current today, living in the here and now, and seeing them clearly and they're seeing you clearly. All right, guys, so hope that was not too offensive and that it was helpful in some way. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my blog and I'll see you guys next time.